I stand before you once again to talk about Pierre-Luc Dubois. Is it just me or is this becoming an annual conversation? Can you believe it? New team! New year and it doesn't even matter because Pierre-Luc Dubois is still just not having a good time. And also, his new team is not having a good time. Look at LA's record over the last few games. They just lost to Buffalo. They lost to San Jose. Some pretty embarrassing losses. They've only got two wins in the month of January. Yup, it is a tire fire. Drew Doughty is not happy. He's been calling his teammates out. There's a lot of finger pointing going on over in LA right now, and one of the main targets to take a piss on has been none other than a big new addition, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Yes, of course. Mister, I don't want to play here anymore. You see, Dubois might only be 25 years old, but you gotta admit, the guy's been getting around like an old bag. He was drafted by Columbus, where he played a few seasons, kind of got scared of John Tortorella and requested a trade. Then he landed in Winnipeg, looking forward to, you know, brighter days, and actually looked pretty good, boasting multiple 60-point seasons, but still, somehow, he just wasn't happy. And Pierre-Luc Dubois would once again request a trade. Now, in the midst of all this, there was always a lot of rumors floating around that Pierre-Luc Dubois wanted to play in Montreal really bad. He was always linked there. It sounded like it was meant to be, but guess what happened? Last minute, the Kings kind of came out of nowhere and offered a pretty hefty package to get him. And the Canadians, well, they might have dodged a bullet. So far, in 46 games, Dubois got himself 20 points, which might not sound overly bad, but it's actually his lowest points per game average since being in the NHL. It's not good. And let's face it, his defensive play has always been a problem. It stinks. He's also in year number one of a massive contract right now with a cap hit of 8.5 million bucks. Guys, I gotta say, I feel really bad for Kings fans right now, but at the same time, I'm just happy that the Canadians didn't get tangled up into this mess. I mean, Pierre-Luc Dubois wasn't cheap. He didn't just fall from the sky like somebody took a shit out of the window of an airplane. No, the Kings gave up Gabriel Velarde, who's a bit younger than Dubois, and he's got just as many points this season. They also gave up Alex Ayafalo, a bit of a project in Rasmus Kupari, and a second round pick in 2024. So as you can imagine, we got one team, the Winnipeg Jets, who are extremely happy with the short term results from this trade. And then we got the Los Angeles Kings, who are probably hoping to see a little more from Dubois. But I guess that's the beauty of it. Right now, yeah, it might look ugly. It might even look like Pierre-Luc Dubois could request a trade again. Like he's some kind of a 10-year-old playing NHL be a pro. Or maybe he snaps out of it and goes on to become a good story in LA. All I know is, about a year ago, I would have loved to have seen this guy in Montreal. But the more that I watch him, the more I feel like I'm watching the Jerry Springer show. Come on. Kent, please don't let it go to your shiny little head. But you did the right thing. But anyway, as always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. If you're a Kings fan and you somehow stumbled upon this page, go ahead and let me know your side of the story and may God have mercy on your soul. Don't forget to slap the like button across the chops before you leave here. And hey, oh, see you next time.